death is extremely painful as prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam told hazrat aisha radhiyallahu ta'ala anha o oh aisha the turmoil the turmoils of death are very distressing and that is why he taught us to recite the words allahumma a'inni ala ghamaratil maut wa sakaratil maut i'll say that again remember this and supplicate in these words very frequently allahumma a'inni ala ghamaratil maut wa sakaratil maut Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has instructed the believers to remember death very often and remembrance of death is desirable Hazrat Abu Huraira radhiyallahu ta'ala and who reports in Ibn Majah that Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said he instructed he suggested and this is an instruction and suggestion for all of us remember mention or talk about the killer of joy death very frequently hazrat ibn umar radhiyallahu ta'ala and who reports in ibn majah that he says that i was sitting with the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and an ansari came and after saying compliments to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said o prophet of allah who among the believers is most excellent Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam answered who bears excellent moral characters The person again asked who among the believers is the wisest Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said one who remembers death frequently and prepares for the life after death You know I talk about these things about hell about jannah about death about the torments of the grave i talk about this i narrate all this not to scare off people i don't do this for the purpose of scaring off people or to terrifying people but i merely do this solely it is all narrated to inform to inform well in time beforehand in advance to help us understand the stages of the endless journey we will start so that we may collect the provision we make preparations for the journey of hereafter that is the only and the sole reason of narrating all these things So the wisest person is he who remembers who talks about who mentions about death very frequently and then the wisest and the most far fetched or the far sighted is he who prepares for the life hereafter Allahumma ja'alna minhum Hazrat Abdullah bin Umar radhiyallahu ta'ala and who reports in Tabrani that Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was asked he himself asked do you know who among the people is most prudent and wise again prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said one who remembers death the most and who is most keen to prepare for it such people are the wisest and they will be rewarded with the honor of the world and the life hereafter then Hazrat Anas radhiyallahu ta'ala and who reports that people came and they told Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam they were talking about a companion and they mentioned about his worship that how he he is very he works very hard and he strives how he works in his worships Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam immediately asked how much does this companion of yours remember death They said we've never heard him talk about death. Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that this friend of yours has not attained the desired ranks of worships. 
Similarly, Hazrat Sahal bin Sa'ad Sa'adi radiallahu ta'ala and who reports that Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa was mentioned about one of his companions who had passed away and that he, the uh, companions were mentioning that he used to worship and he used to work very hard worshipping for Allah and when they they became silent, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa again asked, did he remember death? They said no. Then he, then he asked, did he stop himself from the worldly desires? They said no. The Prophet ﷺ then said, then he had not attained the desired ranks of his worship. So to be a true believer and then to achieve the correct and the desired ranks of a believer's worship, we need to remember, to talk about and to mention death very frequently and then to make preparation about the hereafter.